I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to make lava in Photoshop. So let's get to that. Okay, we're going to make some lava here in Photoshop. And uh, I have a, a file here. Let's see the size of it. It's actually 17 inches, by about 14 inches, 72 DPI. And what we're going to do is, we, uh, my color palette down here is actually uh, blues. Well, we want to go back to the default black and white. So I'm going to push D on the keyboard, so it's black and white. And we're going to go to our render uh, file here, and we're going to make the clouds. Now, you could do this as many times as you want and get different effects. See, there's a different effect, different effect. So it doesn't really matter, but you know, pick one that you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our layers, and we're going to duplicate that by dragging it to the new layer file here um, and make a duplicate file. We're going to go to the filter. We're going to go to the filter gallery now. And we have a lot to choose from here. But what we're going to choose is we're going to look, we're looking for this plastic wrap here. So we're going to actually get a really neat texture in here. And you can actually control the detail, the highlight strength, and the smoothness of it. And you just get to something that you think looks lava-ish. So we're going to do that right there. We're going to go back to that same filter gallery and we're going to open up here and we're going to look we're going to actually look for the chrome. So we're going to take that same thing and we're going to put some chrome on it. And that's going to make it a lot uh, a lot chunkier. And we can play around with the settings here as much as we want. And that's looking pretty lava-ish right there. So we're going to press OK. And there you go. So we actually have two layers here. We're actually going to double click on that layer. And we're just going to put, uh, I'm going to put 0, 2. And we're going to make the first layer, we're going to double click on that. And we're going to make that 0, 1, just for, just for reference. Uh, we're now going to uh, go to the top layer uh, and select that. And we're going to go down here to the adjustment layer. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And we're going to do the hue and saturation. And that's going to be a non-destructive layer on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull this over. We're actually going to make this, we're going to make the hue 25. We're going to punch that number in there. And then we're going to make the saturation we're going to make that 100. And we're going to colorize it, actually. So what we're doing here is making that color in there. So there you go. There's like an orangey effect to all that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to, we're going to make a new layer on top of that. We're going to Go ahead, and now we're going to switch the colors. This black and white, we're actually going to double click on the black, and we're going to make this uh, a really obvious yellow color. So we're going to make that, we're going to make this 100 yellow. I like to use the CYMK sliders because it, I feel they're more accurate. Um, and so there's a nice bright yellow. And, but the RGB colors are 255, 242, and 0. So we're going to go OK. We're going to switch that color. And we're going to go to the white color. And we're actually going to make this an orange color. So we're, I'm going to make this 50. And I'm going to make this 100. So there you go. So now we're going to go back to that same clouds. We have a blank layer here. We can actually name that clouds. And we're actually going to make another going to render some new clouds. And there you go. There, now they're orange and yellow clouds. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the overlay right there. And getting rid of the properties, we're actually going to queue in. And there's your lava. And it's looking pretty good. So that's how you make lava in Photoshop. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. And we'll see you next time.